day. Compliments to whoever made the coffee today. The morning brew coffee is really Strong. good. <laughs> All right. yeah, I, love, I see the crew pointing. Very good. It's very, very good. All right. Um, listen, we're back on, and it's the morning brew. I'm Larry Aarons with Nika Allen filling in uh, for Amber this week. And Siobhan Otero is here from Local IQ Magazine. Good to see you again, Siobhan. Always good to see you guys. How are you this morning? Very we're well. good. We're good. <laughs> we were just chatting prior to coming on that the uh, big rail yard event Sunday was a huge hit. It was. You were here to tell us about that a couple weeks ago. Right. It was a huge event, huge success. Everybody's so happy because, you know, we've been working on it for months and it's all volunteer. So it was really great to see that the community was enjoying all of this and you know if you missed it Sunday um, it's gonna happen every Sunday until November 2nd I'd recommend going a bit earlier it does get hot but it was crowded the entire time so well, the check it out, were you guys. out of stuff and yeah they, I mean that's great it's good because they were that they are gonna make that the, their job this week you know they're yeah. just gonna make their products and then yeah. Yeah. hopefully Wonder. sell out again so all right we're gonna do some art today and <laughs> fill us in on what's going on well, I'm uh, glad that the weather's getting warmer because everybody's bright-eyed and bushy-tilled looking for fun activities Yay. to do. <laughs> and there's going to be a ton going on uh, this summer. And coming up on May 17th at West Bun West is Pop-Up Collective Presents Cardiac. And I love the idea behind Pop-Up Collective because they use um, undiscovered and underused spaces to transform them into a pop-up art venue. Mm -hmm. And they showcase artists in this somewhat unconventional way um, and for this exhibition, seven artists will be donating works of art benefiting the hospital, Heart Hospital of New Mexico Foundation. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it's curated by Jody Herrera, who has been on the show before, and uh -huh. of course Joshua Schreiber, who's also been on here. Um, he's doing some live painting. He'll be one of the um, <laughs> artists. And okay. Angie Pointer, who will be telling mm -hmm. us more about the event. Yeah. Hi, Angie. Welcome. How thank are you? Thank you. I'm doing well. And yourself? Good. Fine. Thank you. Uh, Pop-Up Art Collective. Is it like an instant art gallery that shows up somewhere? I guess kind of conceptually yeah. it is that. Um, right now we're a three-person collective and what we do is, as she said, curate art shows and um, vacant properties, unconventional a spaces, cool uh, yeah, businesses. What a concept. I love that. This one is a little different than the last two because we're actually doing it at a business. So huh. it's a really beautiful industrial space and um, it's West Bun West. And, uh, they're typically one night only shows. So there's a sense of urgency to be there now. Um, I think that also helps create a sort of buzz around buying the art as well. So mm -hmm. this will be our third show that we've done. So we have Josh Schreiber working over here, mm -hmm. right? Mesmerizing. <laughs> Look at here. this. Yeah. I, I, is Josh mic'd up, by the way? Yeah, he is so. Mike. Uh, yeah. Josh, w welcome to the show. <laughs> You're you painting on again. steel, right? I'm painting on eighth-inch uh, cold rolled steel. Actually, this is carbonized and uh, yeah, prepped, sanded, ready to paint. On. Very wow. heavy. Wow. <laughs> is that like auto body paint you're putting on there, enamel? Or? It's, it's sign paint. It's sign enamel. paint. It dries, dries very hard within about uh, 12 hours or so, and then I sand it off, and then I add another layer. And Wow. So I thought it'd be fun to come put my first layer on the scene with you guys. And wow. you can come see it at the Go show in awesome. the finished product. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What, this is a great idea, this uh, pop-up collective. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to run this through the summer? What, what's going to um, be happening? Well, it's it's evolving as it goes on. Yeah. Um, the first two shows. As these things do. Um, right? mm -hmm. This one is now a charity, which is something that I know Josh had talked about when he was first starting doing yeah. uh, the pop-up shows. So we're really fortunate that, you know, it's evolving in that direction. Um, you know, we'd like to try to do it every couple of months. There's a lot of planning that goes into these. We've been working on this particular show curating it and getting it all organized and mm -hmm. finding sponsors since uh, January. So we put a lot of time oh, in yeah. and, and a lot of free time in and hopefully uh, it pays off in the end for mm -hmm. all of the artists involved as well as the performers that we're going to have and whatnot. So Can you buy art at this show? Yes, definitely. Okay. All of the artists for sale and we will also have um, a section of donated artworks by each artist. Oh, wow. So a portion of that, um, every artist donated a piece just for the charity cause at the Heart Hospital, cool. which is really great. And then there'll be other artwork for sale right, so as you, well. You, you've got a real event planned on, on the 17th. Yes, that's correct. And there's going to be um, the Marble Breweries on board, the New York mm -hmm. uh, Pizza Department's on that's board. That's correct. So we, we, have, really we have the 
the, the beer and the pizza covered. Yes. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Don't forget the dance. Beer, yeah. the pizza, the and art, the, DJ. the dance, yes. yeah. the fun. There'll we be have two it all. DJs, um, and we'll also have a performance piece by the, the Albuquerque Aerialist. Aerialist Collective, and they're working in collaboration with uh, video projection artist Lux Capacitor. So it'll be a really interesting performance that we still have yet to see the final product of. So it'll be a surprise for us as well as anyone else who attends. Yeah, I think you picked a great charity. The uh, Heart Hospital of New Mexico mm -hmm. Foundation does wonderful work supporting mm -hmm. the Heart Hospital of New Mexico. And they're great people over mm -hmm. there. And uh, obviously you teamed up with them and yeah, we're thrilled very, to have you guys we're on board. Yeah, we're very pleased to be working with them. So. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, just show up and enjoy, right? It's basically what Pretty you do. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, show up and enjoy. And, and I remember at the last one, uh, the last pop-up, it was that night that it was raining, mm -hmm. raining, and um, I was surprised and delighted to see that so many people still showed up. I mean, it packed the house still, and that was that night that I think people it was were flooding. getting their cars <laughs> stalled under that I bridge. That you know that. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That was crazy. That was it, I, I think it'll be busy and people love it and yeah, I'm yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be really a fun show, so don't miss it. That's the other thing about it being a one night show is that you can't go the next day. So there's really this sense of be there now or you won't get to see it again. Quite the yeah. same. So. How sensational. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Josh is making uh, progress over here. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Oh, good. <laughs> each layer, each layer uh, gets better, so uh, as I sand this down and repaint to just keep that so more depth. So what you you sand it down with like a metal sander thing? Sander or a grinder, metal grinder. Grinder? Yeah. And what does it look like when you've done that? I wish I had a picture to show you. You'll yeah. have to come and... It just kind of... <laughs> I'll have there's a, of someone... Well, let's, there's yeah, one let's put one up. This is one of your works here, Josh. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually with um, acrylic paint. A lot of layers and under layers come is, through. I've, I've refined it as over the years. Um, is that on steel too? Or is no, it? that's actually um, uh, on wood. With on the wood. Acrylic paint. Yeah. Wow. I like it. Thank I you. like it. Yeah. How many paintings? It's become a little more smooth and, and coherent. You see those layers of, of uh, color come through and, and melt together uh, a little more smoothly than the way that was. Yeah. Yeah. A anyway. That's, that's oh, thank you very much. <laughs> don't let me interrupt you. I mean, I, I, we have an artist working. working here. Yeah. You I'm know, artists here. in their studio, they just they lose track of yeah. time. They don't, they don't know if it's this day or true. night. <laughs> they just work. And you will also be having some work yes, up there. Yes, I will. What kind of work do you have? Um, I do primarily figurative work, but I also do landscapes. At this show, I'm doing a series. Um, here's my piece here. That's this your, is, your work. There. This is a little bit more of a surrealistic approach um, to my work. So that's a friend of mine. And the series that I'm working on is really about the people that I'm depicting in the paintings and some aspect of their personality um, that I add to it that really reminds me of mm. them. So uh, the person depicted in that painting, she's very whimsical to me. Mm. So we did a very spend whimsical painting. We could the whole segment painting. just analyzing what, what that painting <laughs> yeah, is saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Daydream. So that is will it? be one of the pieces in the show so. if you want to come see it in person. And How who are the artists? other artists? I was just oh, yeah. question. There is seven artists total, visual artists, that is. Um, we have Josh Schreiber, myself, Jody Herrera, and you guys are probably familiar with her work. She's been on the show. Um, we have Kate Byrne, who does photography. We have Alana Schwartz, who does wood sculpture, uh, really wow. beautiful um, mythological creatures. And she's doing wall hangings this time, as well as some larger sculptures. Uh, we have both uh, Joel Davis and uh, Lance McGoldrick, who do mixed media. Uh, pieces that are pretty eccentric. So. Okay, We're this event is going to be Saturday the 17th, 6 to 11 p.m. Uh, this is at 217 Kinley Avenue Northwest. It's called West Bund West. Mm -hmm. Is that a business? It is a business, and they are essentially a fabrication shop. So they do a lot of design work, industrial and architectural design oh. work. So they make furniture. They're artists themselves, essentially. So nice. we're really excited to kind of combine those two elements, mm -hmm. working yeah. with a business that also has uh, interest in design and art and aesthetics. So. 
Yeah. There'll Creative be, uh, space. Music and yeah. food and dance yep. and plenty of mm -hmm. art and really nice people there. And <laughs> it'll be happening. Yeah. Siobhan, this is great. You always find the neatest stuff. I just like to do fun things, <laughs> so I like to share the word. You Sometimes know? I want to be you, you know, <laughs> but I have to live through you. And we're all living vicariously <laughs> through Siobhan, <laughs> watching her do lots of fun stuff It's Siobhan's world. We just time. live in it, yeah. you know? <laughs> no, no, no. Just come join it. Join it, and then yeah. you'll be on the same It's really track. for the community, so you can yeah. be a part Beautiful. of it, too. Beautiful. Uh, Josh, you just feel the, like you can hang out here and stay with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I like this. Okay. This is good. Another technique there. Yeah, just don't get any on the carpet down there, will you? But other than that, it's great stuff. Hey, Joshua Schreiber, creating uh, here in the studio. I want to thank Angie Pointer, who is an artist herself and uh, 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 Tell us a little bit about this pop-up collective. Of course, Siobhan Otero from Local IQ Magazine. Thank you all. A lot of fun. Thank you so much Thank for you. having us. All right. I Appreciate enjoyed that. It. What's next? <laughs> well, we'll find out when we come back.